All right, so this is journal entry number three. Today is January 28th, 2020, 2022. Um, I woke up kind of discouraged today. There was a Facebook post that I seen last night talking about college and, you know, how students, or some students who attend four-year colleges, they don't get the high-paying jobs, you know, even with a bachelor's degree, they still make what other people make, um, and people who don't even have a college education are making more, um, and how some jobs are saturated by the baby boomers, and essentially what this person was saying, that she would not push going to a four-year university on somebody because sometimes, especially just depending on the major that you're in, you don't really see the fruit of what a bachelor's degree is supposed to give you. And I don't know, maybe I just went to sleep with that on my heart and when I woke up, I was just kind of discouraged like I went to school I worked super hard kind of <laughs> I, I did work hard in school um and yet I I don't have that career I thank God thank you Jesus that I could be a substitute teacher, but we don't make that much at all. And it's just the grace of God that, you know, due to the circumstances that we are, um, we're in right now, due to pandemic, we get a little bit, just a little something, something, but we're not getting, I'm not getting paid much. And I got discouraged because it's like, it's it's a lot of people from Jackson State who got the jobs, who, who are in the careers, who make a really good living. And yet, I'm struggling. Granted, I did get pregnant. I didn't see my senior year of college at all. But... I feel like I did everything that I was supposed to do. I graduated. I applied for all the internships, got turned down, all but one of them, and then COVID happened. So I was just really down. My spirit was so, so down. So I just did to that. I'll, I'll just turn on some worship music, which I still have playing right now. And I'm not going to lie. I still kind of feel the way that I do, but I'm just... I would just let the music minister to me, and I started, you know, praying in the spirit. And I, I am encouraged that... And, and what I'm receiving is that's just not what God had for me. I deep down did not want to be in corporate America. I didn't. I I didn't want to be in corporate America, but I majored in business, and I needed a good job, so I was striving and striving to be in a place that God. Uh, from, from what I'm receiving, God didn't even have for me to be in. And what I'm receiving and what I believe is God has better. That his plan is far brighter than me being confined to working for a corporate job and being miserable. So essentially, God was just protecting me. That's what I'm feeling. That's, 
and that's what I already knew, but again, it just gets a little discouraging when you see others, you know, they got the job, they got the money, and I don't have no career, and I'm struggling, you know. Well, I'm not, uh, I gotta stop speaking those things. I just don't have the finances that I want. But I believe that God is going to do something so amazing through this real estate business. I'm believing for Miracle Skin. I have to realize that God did not create me to be an employee. I was created to be an entrepreneur. So, even right now, God is turning it around. It's turning around. It was not in vain. College was not in vain. I had an amazing experience. If it wasn't for college, I would I, I would not have had the uh, the seed be planted of real estate. You know, that was planted my sophomore year in my entrepreneurship class. Um. Miss Terry Bowens, I think her name was, my professor. She planted that seed of um she planted that seed of entrepreneurship and being a realtor in me. And two years later or three years later I'm a real estate agent. So, yeah, this is just me being raw right now. I was discouraged, but I'm going to just stand on God and believe that that's just, he just had better for me. Those things didn't work out because God, that's, that's not where God wanted me. It's not where God wanted me. He has something so much better. And I believe God is going to blow my mind this year. And I'm standing on your promise that you are providing. I do not lack anything. I do not lack. So. Ah, this was me really uh capturing the vulnerable time uh, and again i just have to i have to get these moments so i can look back and i just can't wait i cannot wait to rejoice and cry tears of joy oh god what you have done what you are doing because it don't feel good right now but in due time and in due season I will reap the hardest so Whew. I gotta get ready to go to work um, yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm just trying to get myself together now. I'm not changing. I'm just going to have to go to work with the tears on my, on my shirt. It'll be dry. It's cold as ever outside. As soon as that wind hits, uh, it wouldn't even be noticeable. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for this video. I'm just, I'm holding on to God's promise. I'm standing on his word. And I just have to believe and know and rest and rest. Kaya, you have to rest. And the fact that God is 
taking care of me. He is working it out and he's making ways out of no way. And that God is going to blow my mind. God has so much better for me than working a corporate job that I would eventually be miserable and he did not want that for me. God, you did not want that for me. So I have to thank you. I need I, I need to rejoice in the protection. God, it was just protection this whole time. All right, Kaya. You look back on this, girl. You gonna look back on this, and yeah. Until my next entry.